Stork and I am a urologist and uh, it is Halloween and I thought it would be fun to um, share with you some information on one of the uh, things that I think patients fear most about urology and that's ureteral stents. So what I thought we'd just talk about today is a little bit of the anatomy of the urinary system. Hi everyone, thank you for joining. Thanks for joining on Saturday morning, happy Halloween. My name is Dr. Brian Stork, I'm a urologist and today I'm talking about stents, ureteral stents. Uh, patients a lot of times fear stents when they have urology procedures and a very common question I get um, almost daily is about ureteral stents. So just briefly, <laughs> hello, <laughs> thank you. Um, I just, I'm not an artist, I'm a urologist. So I drew this out um, on the operative table here. This is the kidney. This is the uh, collecting system in the renal pelvis. This would be the ureter. And this would be the uh, bladder. And then depending on whether you're male or female, you would have different configurations down here, obviously. So one of the most common things that I deal with as urologist is stones. Stones in the urinary tract. Um, stones themselves, when they're in the kidney and not causing a blockage, generally don't cause any symptoms. But when they get caught in the ureter, they cause a blockage in the flow of urine as it comes out of the kidney. And that, that urine backs up into the kidney and uh, causes pain. And for any of you that have had kidney stones, a lot of symptoms of uh, kidney stones would be nausea, vomiting, uh, blood in the urine. Or even uh, if you go on to have an infection associated with the stone, um, you could uh, have a temperature and sepsis. So one of the ways that we uh, deal with stones that are causing an, a blockage, especially in a uh, emergency situation, is with the ureteral stent. So what I wanted to do is just first um, draw out what this stent does, what it looks like, some of the common side effects, and then I'll show you the stent. And um, I really invite your questions. If you have any questions, I'd love to um, answer them because, again, people ask me all the time about ureteral stents. So you have a, a blockage here. Uh, let's just say it's a stone. You're having pain. You come to the emergency room. And we talk to you. And what we want to do is, because of the backup of urine causing the pain, we want to get this urine drained out of this kidney so that the kidney isn't stretched, it's not under pressure, the urine's flowing through and you feel better. Good morning, thank you for joining. I'm talking about ureteral stents this morning on Halloween. If you've ever had a ureteral stent, you probably understand why I picked this topic. So one of the first things when we place a stent is, we take a look inside the bladder with a, a telescope, it's called a cystoscope, I'm able to look inside the bladder and then using a variety of different techniques I can usually thread a wire um, up and around the stone. So in an emergency situation a lot of times we won't remove the stone, we'll simply um, advance this wire up and then over the wire I'm able to thread a stent. And so a stent is a plastic tube, I tell people to think of it kind of like a really long straw that goes around the stone and into the kidney and it's got these nice little curls on it uh, that hold it in place. It's, it's actually some kind of amazing technology. So when you think about it, if you have a straw or a plastic object inside your bladder, it's going to rub up against the lining of the bladder, so it's going to cause blood in the urine. This um, rubbing up against the lining of the bladder, thank you for the hearts by the way, uh, uh, this rubbing up against the bladder is also going to cause some urinary frequency, some urinary urgency. And it's also probably going to cause some discomfort when you urinate because this stent or this tube is going to move um, when you urinate, causing discomfort. Can I just ask if anybody's watching has ever had a uh, stent or knows of anybody that's had a stent, um, would really appreciate hearing your experience as well. So, well, what does a stent look like? Well, I didn't want to, um, you know, waste any um, equipment, everything's expensive in medicine. This is the package um, of what a stent would come in and as you can see it's got the curls here, it's got a length on it, and it even has a string on it. Good morning, thank you for joining. I'm talking about ureteral stents this morning for Halloween. I thought it was an appropriate topic. I'm a urologist, my name is Dr. Brian Stork. Um, up here it tells you um, the size of the stent, how long the stent is, and stents in the urinary system are temporary. So at some point when we place the stent, urinary stents have to come out or they uh, form stones on their own. 
So this is what the packaging looks like, and then we flip this over. And I'm in the OR, it's, it's a little tricky to uh, get the lights right uh, for Periscope, and uh, it's a little tricky to get the lights right for surgery, uh, ironically, most of the time. But this is what the stent looks like. You can see it right here. So one end will uh, go eventually go in the bladder, one end eventually will go in the kidney. It's got some small drainage holes here so that the urine can drain here and here. It's got a string on it so that patients, um, yes, uh, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'm sure it does appear thick. I put a lot of these in and uh, even though it's very thin, I guess I can put my pen here so that you can, you can see the width of it as an example. Um, certainly we, we don't wish stents on anyone and we only uh, put them in when necessary. They do serve in a very important, um, they're very important in the sense that not only do they help drain the, the um, urine out of the kidney, but also if we do any type of surgery here or anything. Good morning, Chuck. Thank you for joining. Happy Halloween. I'm talking about ureteral stents for Halloween. It's a topic that causes fear in our uh, urology patients and our recurrent stone forming uh, patients, so I thought it would be perfect for Halloween. And we were just talking about how when you have a, a stone, it causes pain, causes a backup of urine, and how this stent that we place surgically goes around the stone. It doesn't doesn't we don't necessarily remove the stone especially in, 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 in an infection situation but we might remove the stone right away if there's no infection but regardless one common misconception is how the stone uh, the stent and the stone relate to each other the stent goes around the stone and I was telling Chuck uh, everybody that because this is a plastic tube this uh, can cause symptoms of urinary frequency urgency in hematuria when it's when it's put in and it can uh, cause those types of symptoms the entire time that it's uh, sitting in the bladder and the ureter. Um, this device here is just a pusher so when we're doing the surgery this um, orange object and you'll have to forgive me because I am a little bit colorblind but to me it's orange is used to actually push the uh, stent up into the correct position. Chuck, you got any questions about stents or anybody have any questions about stents? Because one of the things I like about Periscope is the interactive um, aspect of it. I know there's not a lot of people uh, watching right now. I can um, put this up on YouTube and uh, catch later. But if anybody has any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Uh, what I can tell you is that in my experience, kind of like other things in medicine, there's sort of a bell-shaped curve uh, for, for pain and discomfort. So I tried to draw a graph of discomfort and time. And uh, patients uh, with stents uh, sort of are on this bell-shaped curve. Um, let me just try to adjust the light here a little bit. So some patients with stents have hardly any pain at all over time. Some patients have a lot of pain. Um, I guess that would be on this side. And then many patients sort of fall in between. But because it's Halloween, I saw this on Twitter, so I can't take complete credit for it. Because it's Halloween, there is this thing in medicine that we call the paranormal curve. Um, it kind of looks like this. So I think for a lot of urology patients who have had stones before in the past, they fall onto this uh, paranormal curve um, when they have a stent. <laughs> Again, I'm not an artist. So if you're joining, I was just talking about ureteral stents um, in urology. They're really uh, critical. And they're a very important part of what we do. If you've ever had a urologic procedure done before, thank you for the hearts. You're probably familiar with um, these ureteral stents. And I hope that uh, by talking about this topic, I've been able to educate everybody a little bit, uh, let them feel a little bit more comfortable about uh, what we're doing when we put in a stent. And I just thank you for your time and attention and wish you a very happy Halloween. And Chuck, uh, even after all this time, still struggling to figure out how to shut this thing off. Again, thank you.